here on the Ed Till Show, uh, our listeners and their lives and the stability of family and happiness and the balance uh, just happens to be uh, a top priority with us. It's something we believe in very strongly. And today I would like to direct your attention if you have uh, found yourself in a tough circumstance emotionally, a relationship having uh, melted down, a marriage having gone away, uh, this website is divorced and scared no more. This is a segment I, I think you're going to be uh, you're, you're going to be appreciative of, and you're going to find it quite valuable. And I want to tell you all about what the horizon for your future is, because people get so down. They, uh, they easily become cynical after a divorce, and, and the first thing that sets in is a horrible amount of fear, and the, the, the looking forward thing looks so bleak, it just doesn't feel like anything is going to happen, and, and one of the other bad things that happens, uh, unfortunately, is you feel obligated to hook up with somebody quickly. That hookup doesn't go uh, anywhere, and you find yourself uh, demanding that you settle for someone. Oh, I've just, I've got to, I can't live like this. I've just got to settle. Well, divorced and scared no more is all about addressing your fear and about showing you the beautiful future you can have uh, with someone who is the right match for you. So go to divorcedandscarednomore.com. That's divorcedandscarednomore.com. Dot com And welcome to the Ed Till Show's focus on this terrific opportunity for you. Let's begin with the process, okay? There is a, a big process of divorce and how it affects you. Uh, unfortunately, some people are getting divorced because of uh, abuse in the relationship. It, abuse is a four-letter word and in many relationships becoming too common in our twisted worldview of relationships. Go to Divorced and Scared No More. Follow along with me. Uh, this is the kind of understanding you'll find at this website. There is an isolation and abandonment that settles in at the end of a marriage. Uh, a short one, a longer one, even worse. You are not alone. First of all, there's a future for you to be happy with someone. Second of all, the process of, uh, of extinguishing all of this horrible experience it, it needs to happen for you and divorced and scared no more is going to help you with the process of divorce because this website is put together by someone who truly understands what it's like to recover from a failed relationship. All right, let's talk about uh, the, well, uh, you know what, coping. Coping skills, uh, is an, uh, it's almost a cliche, right? How long have you heard about coping skills? You've been hearing about coping skills your whole life, haven't you? Coping skills, coping skills. Let me give you a coping tip of the day from divorced and scared no more. Uh, go to divorced and scared no more. What a great re a website. If you find yourself divorced and we're talking about coping now with your situation, each day it says stop in to read the coping tip of the day for some new advice on how to cope with a divorce and aspects of that divorce that you may not even have thought about yet. They'll cover everything under the sun, such as uh, – Splitting up the business is big. Splitting up the business. Uh, if you go to the website, divorced and scared no more, under the coping tip of the day, splitting up the business. How to add joy back into your life. How to move on from this point, this horrible low point in your life, and, and quickly turn it around. The process is not easy. Uh, it does, unfortunately. It does, unfortunately, sometimes hurt a great deal. Uh, do you interpret your relationship ending in divorce as a failure? This is a word that everybody heaps on you. Why do you feel like this? Why do you feel like there were so many issues with marriages in society today? This section is a, a terrific on the website because it imparts words of wisdom and words of healing just for you. It'll seek to explain some of the misconceptions that people have about divorce and how it affects relationships in society today. You know, what I love is the idea of turning it around. Uh, people sometimes get caught in the, in the moment and go, this is just so bad, I can't see the turnaround. The turnaround is what you're living for. That is the life force in you. Being assaulted 
by someone's uh, uh, coarse feelings, their infidelity, their lying, their cheating. You've, look, let's face it. If you're getting divorced, you could either be with a nice person that was not matched to you, or you could accidentally be with a really horrible person. That is not about you. It's about them. The reason that the marriage is coming apart has nothing to do with you, and you need to extract yourself from the tro uh, toxic situation that you found yourself in and go to divorcedandscarednomore.com and read about the process. Get on there and read about the process. Now, sharing stories is very important. Do you believe in this? I believe in this wholeheartedly. Look, I'm, I'm listening to people right now. I hear them buzzing all over the country about this. I don't want you to get into a, a, a negative mode because you're divorced. I am not going to let you sit there and think that being divorced is horrible and life is all going down the tubes for you and what will you ever – find in happiness. I'm not going to let that happen. This website is a tool, is a device, is a way for you not just to cope, but to turn your life around. Now, did you hear me mention a term earlier? This is unfortunately what some, so many people who wind up in relationships after a long one, after a serious one, or actually going through the divorce. Divorces don't happen instantaneously, right? So you're going through a divorce. It's easy to feel like you want to settle for the first person that comes along that you think is okay. How many times have you been tempted to do that? That is degrading to you. You are not someone who goes through the bottom of the barrel and tries to convince yourself to stay with it. Sorry, that's not what Ed Till Show listeners are all about. You're listening to this show for 10, 20, 30 years now. You have a very good opinion of yourself. You know why? Because you've been living a good life, because you have done what it takes. Now, do you still make mistakes? We all do. So eventually, the right person is going to come along. You can't sacrifice your future because you now are worried that this is not going to be uh, uh, happening for you ever. You can't throw it away uh, uh, because uh, divorced and scared no more dot com offers you a way uh, out of the misery. Bottom line, what you got to get out of this misery. Now, the first thing you can do is start to enjoy life. That's the first thing. There's a lot of encouragement here to just start living life, not searching for a partner immediately. Get back in to the life that you used to enjoy. You wake up in the morning, the day is full of promise. You wake up in the morning, you have ideas, you have dreams. You're like, oh, you know what I'll do today? You know what I'll do this weekend by the end of the month? That's you. That's you talking. Isn't it time you get back into that part of your life? Just because you've been through a divorce doesn't mean you have to pack everything up and, and, and leave the, the, the life as we know it and, and get on. No, and get out of here. No, you're staying right here. You love your life before this other person, and there is life after divorce. So get ready to start living again. Go to the website, divorcedandscarednomore.com. Now, when it gets to the, uh, the tough area of dating, one of the reasons this is hard to do is because the last person you were with was horrible. That's the problem. The problem is people can be horrible, and now you are looking for a good person. Now you are, are taking your time. Now you are going to start dating. Dating is not easy after you've been through a, a traumatic relationship. So there are specific dating tips and dating advice right here to make it easier for you in the section of divorcedandscarednomore.com. That's the website, divorcedandscarednomore.com. It's called Get Back Out There get back out there dating again, but getting into the normal world of dating, not into the crazy freaky world of dating. You don't want to, you don't want to wind up on some tabloid show, you know, rolling around with these uh, crazy celebrities in the uh, Miami and uh, that's not your deal. You're looking for someone you can actually relate to some, someone that would become uh, uh, both an intimate and a close friend, and you've now learned after divorce, right? Divorcedandscarednomore.com. You're on this website. You're listening to The Ed Till Show. I, I know what the background is here. You realize that something went completely awry, that something in the future 
needs to be way different, that you are changing your approach, and what you're finding now is all kinds of encouragement and support for doing it. Instead of being afraid, divorced and scared, no more.com encourages you to embrace what is happening in your life right now. Change is here. Let's not call it a failure. Let's not call it anything negative. You are beginning the new life. This is not, uh, nothing in, uh, important that ever happens to you is ever going to be uh, because you are staring in the rearview mirror and dwelling on the past. Divorce means the beginning of a new life that you're going to be living alone or with the children, new situations, new living arrangements. You may even be sharing custody with your ex. So here is some inspiration to begin your new life after divorce. It's called Spring Cleaning for the soul. So the website is divorced and scared no more.com and we're now discussing a great section of the website called the next chapter begin your new life. Spring cleaning for the soul